Hi there, welcome to this first lecture on the Medina book series. In this lecture series, we will study the basic Arabic grammar and we will use Medina book series as our guide. Medina book series is a very famous Arabic grammar series and I am sure you have heard about it. About it. We will study this book series in this lecture series. We will get started with the first lesson which is about the demonstrative pronoun Hadha and it's the first lesson Adars Adarsul Awalu which means Adars means lesson Al Awal means the first okay Adarsul Awal means the first lesson or lesson one okay the word that we will study here is pronounced as Hadha Hadha it means this in English language it means this okay this now you know from English grammar that a demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun that we use to find at things for example if I want to find at this door I would use the word this this door or this is a door so this is an example of a demonstrative pronoun in English language in Arabic language for the word this we have hadha okay hadha now hadha is written like hadha hadha you see here is fatha and here as well you have fatha so it should be pronounced like hadha but it's not pronounced like that it's pronounced like this like this word hadha okay hadha like this hadha okay Hada means this, okay? This is what it literally means. Write this meaning with you. Hada, this. Hada, this. Baitun is a house, okay? Let me type here. It means this, okay? And it means a house. Now you can see that there is there is no third word for the word is in English if we if we, we if we had to write this in English we will we will write it as like this is a house you see this is a house this is a house but there is no word for is in this sentence yeah we don't have and you should remember this keep in mind in Arabic language we do not have a word for is or was or were we don't have those things what we have here is two words uh, is two words hada uh, and baitun and they make of a sentence and that's all what we need so this is this shows something and that arabic is simple it's easy okay it's not that hard so it's so easy to make a sentence in arabic language you don't need the word is or even a separately you don't have a an independent article here separately so remember this point keep keep in mind this point that we do not have capula we do not have is are was were those things we don't have them in Arabic language okay so it means baitun. it means this is a house the word is is in there but we don't see it okay so the word is is in the syntax of Arabic language hidden in there we don't see it okay a house this is a house this is a house now why 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 do I say a house why don't I say the house that is because of this tanween okay tanween the unsound by tun okay tanween when you have tanween on a noun that tanween shows that that noun is an indefinite noun okay remember this when you have tanween on a noun it means that that noun is an indefinite noun and when you translate an indefinite noun from Arabic to English you add a or n to that noun because a or N these are the indefinite articles of English language okay 
So, هذا بيتون means this is a house. That is why I'm translating بيتون as a house and not the house. I'm saying a house. هذا بيتون, this is a house. Now, the rest is the same, okay? هذا مسجدون. هذا, this مسجدون is a mosque, okay? هذا مسجدون, this is a mosque. هذا بابون, this is a door, okay? هذا كتابون, this is a book. This is a book. هذا means this and كتابون means a book. هذا, this is قلمون, a pen. قلمون, a pen. هذا, this مفتاحون is a key. هذا مفتاحون, this is a key. Okay. هذا مكتبون, هذا, this مكتبون, a disk. This is a disk. هذا, this مكتبون, a disk. This is a disk. هذا, this صرير, a bed. This is a bed. Okay. هذا, this كرسي, is a chair. A chair. كرسي, a chair. هذا, this. This is a chair. Now we. W now this will. This lesson will teach you, or this part of the lesson will teach you how to ask about inanimate objects. ما هذا? What is this? ما means what? Okay, it literally means what. And هذا means this. And I told you, is is in the syntax hidden. Okay. ما هذا? What is this? It means what is this? Okay, let me write it here. Type. What is this? This is what it means. Okay. What is this? ما هذا? What is this? ما means what and هذا means this. ما هذا? What is this? هذا بيتون. هذا this بيتون is a house. This is a house. Okay. هذا بيتون. Now it's a new word. Ahada. It's also for asking. Hamza with a fatha over it. Okay, which which is pronounced as a. Ahada. Ahada. Ahada means is this. Let me type it here for you. Is this okay? This is what it means. Ahada means is this. This a is for asking question. Okay, is this baytun? Is this a house again? Baytun is a house, okay? You have to add a before it because it's indefinite. Ahada baytun, is this a house? Naam, yes. Naam means yes. Hada baytun, this is a house, okay? Ma hada, what is this? Ma what? Hada is this. Hada, this is qamisun, a shirt. This is a shirt. أهذا is this okay is this سرير a bed is this a bed is this a bed لا no لا means no no هذا كرسي this is a chair هذا كرسي this is a chair أهذا مفتاح أهذا is this okay أهذا is this مفتاح a key is this a key is this a key لا no it's not لا no هذا قلم it is this is a قلم this is a pen okay قلم means a pen ما هذا what is this هذا نجم this is a star okay هذا نجم this is a star now, tamreen, exercise. Tamreenun means exercise. Okay. Now you do it yourself. Solve it yourself. All right. You, you write the answers. Mahaza, mahaza. What is this? Write your answer here. And mahada, what is this? Write your answer here. Write your answer in the comment section. I will correct you guys if you need to be corrected. Okay. So let's move forward. اقرأ واكتب read and write so read it and write it and also write the meanings okay now we learned how to ask about inanimate objects for example about a house about uh, uh, an object that that is non-living 
how to ask about animate objects or living objects for example about people how to ask about people man means who who okay who and hada means again this hada means this okay man hada who is this okay man hada who is this let me type here man hada who is this man hada who is this man hada who is this hada tabibun hada tabibun this is a doctor a medical doctor this is a medical doctor this is a doctor or a physician man hada who is this hada waladun this is waladun a boy okay this is a boy man hada who is this hada talibun this is a student a hada waladun is this a boy la no hada rajulun this is a man man hada who is this hada tajirun this is a merchant okay ma hada what is this hada masjidun this is a mosque hada kalbun kalbun means dog okay in English, in, uh, in arabic language sorry kalbun means dog a dog hada kalbun this is a dog a hada kalbun is this a dog a hada means is this kalbun a dog la no hada qittun this is a cat okay hada himarun this is a donkey himarun means a donkey okay hada himarun this is a donkey a hada himarun is this a donkey la no la no hada this is hisanun a horse this is a horse Wama hada and what is this? What is this? Wa wa is for and okay? Wa is for and Wama and what Hada is this? What is this? Hada Jamalun this is a camel okay Mahada what is this? Hada this is Dikun a rooster Man Hada who is this? Man who is this? Okay. Hada is this. Man who? Hada is this. Who is this? Hada this is Mudarresun, a teacher. Okay. He is a t uh, this is a teacher. Now, Tamreen, exercise. Iqra waktub, read and write. Ma hada, hada qalamun, write the meanings. Okay. Translate it. Hada kalbun. And you know what kalbun and kalamun means, we studied it. So we studied these words. Man hada hada tabibun hada jamalun. Translate them into English, okay? Now, what we learned in this lesson, or what we have to, what we should remember from, uh, what we should have learned from this lesson. Points to remember, okay? In this lesson, we learned the following patterns. Ma hada, we learned how to, how to ask about inanimate objects. What is this? Ma hada. Ma means what? Hada means is this. Hada kitabun. This uh, hada means this is kitabun a book. Okay. Hada baytun is this a house? Naam hada baytun. Yes, this is a house. La or if it's not a house, then you should say la no. Hada masjidun. This is a mosque. Man hada. We learnt about asking about. We learnt. Um, asking how to ask about people man hada who is this okay now note these points with you and make sure that you understand these points hada is pronounced as hada but it's written without the first alif we do not write this alif uh, in the uh, like in hada but we do pronounce the alif here okay arabic has no word corresponding to the english is meaning arabic has no kofula Okay, so Arabic does not have the the, the verbs for is, be, become, etc. Like that. Okay, we 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 have we don't have a verb for helping verb for was were and things like that. We don't need that. Okay, we don't need we don't need those verbs in Arabic language. 
uh, we know we need just two words and it's very simple the third point is there is no word in Arabic corresponding to a in English as in this is a book the, so in Arabic language we don't have a word for the indefinite article a or n separately we don't have a separate word for it uh, instead we have the tanween for it the, the unsound at the end of the Arabic noun like kitabun, baitun, masjidun we have the unsound at the end of these words the, this, this unsound actually uh, is the indefinite article of Arabic language okay corresponding to the English A or N it corresponds to the English A or N this unsound is called tanween we call it tanween the particle a hamza placed at the beginning of a statement turns it, it into a question for example hadha baitun a hadha baitun this is a this is a house but we place this hamza before it so that hamza changes this sentence into uh, uh, into a question a hadha baitun is this a house so this is used for turning a sentence into a question okay now this is the vocabulary learn this vocabulary by heart you, sh you must remember what these the meanings and the words that we studied in this lesson I will give uh, the link to this book in the description and you can open this page and rem memorize all these words if you need to okay in the next video in the next lecture we will talk about Dalika this is also a demonstrative pronoun and it's lesson two that's so sunny we will talk about it in the next um, lesson until then take care guys